Now, Tea Party members have said spending cuts do not go far enough. They also want a balanced budget amendment. Uh, did they win last night? We told you what the New York Times is writing today. The Wall Street Journal writes this. The big picture is that the deal is a victory for the cause of smaller government, arguably the biggest since welfare reform in 1996. Does my next guest agree with that, Utah Senator Mike Lee, a member of the Tea Party Caucus? Senator, good morning to you. Good morning, Bill. You buy that? Well, look, this is a, a significant step forward in the sense that seven or eight months ago, people in this town were still talking about the need for another stimulus, about more new government spending. We're no longer talking about that. We're instead discussing not just whether to cut anything, but how many trillions of dollars we should cut. The reason I still don't support this bill is because it doesn't solve the underlying problem. I've said since before I was even sworn into office that this is a permanent problem. This is a long-term problem, and for that we need a long-term solution. The only way we can bind future Congresses to stand by these cuts that we're now discussing is through an amendment to the Constitution that will actually restrict permanently Congress's borrowing authority. So you're a no. And, I'm a no. And I did not expect to hear that you shifted your position. I've listened to you at the end of last week and over the weekend, too. But you helped shape this debate. And arguably, you, you have turned the attention of this entire story 180 degrees in Washington. Why not call that victory? Well, because it's not a victory. I mean, it, it would be a lot of fun. I would love to call it a victory. Absolutely, I would. I feel so passionately about this. I even wrote a book about the need for a balanced budget amendment called The Freedom Agenda. But it's not a victory because we still haven't passed one. And what I've said is that before we take on debt, an unprecedented two and a half trillion dollars of new debt that's going to take decades to, take, to pay back, we need to put in place permanent structural spending reform that can't easily be circumvented. Uh, I mentioned what the New York Times is talking about with regard to the president. They think he surrendered, basically, to Republicans, to, to the Tea Party. And I also read to you what the Wall Street Journal said. In that same article, here's what it says. Tea Partiers would do more for their cause by applauding this victory and working toward the next rather than diminishing what they've accomplished because it did not solve every fiscal problem in one impossible swoop. Yeah, well, they did it all at one time is what it's saying. That's, that's absolutely right, and yet uh, we haven't gotten what we need in this circumstance, and I'm not going to pretend that we have. Now, this is not the first time that I have disagreed with those two publications, and I suspect it's not likely to be the last. Can this pass in the House? Now, you think about 22 House Republicans I mentioned who voted against it on Friday, and uh, you heard from the liberal left in the House, uh, they're, they're not happy at all. And I think many Americans who probably went to bed last night said, oh, okay, they've got to figure it out. Uh, but it still has to go for a vote in the Senate and the House. Do you think, on paper, at the moment, this gets through? Uh, it's going to be close. My, my gut tells me that it is likely to pass both houses, but with the slim and somewhat unconventional margins. Uh, we, we will, of course, know for sure within the next 36 hours. But... Uh, my hunch is telling me it's likely to pass. Well, what do you mean by slim and unconventional? Is that 217, 218? Uh, yeah, right, right uh, at the uh, mark? Per per perhaps, perhaps a, a, a little bit more comfortable than that. And by unconventional, I mean I, I think you'll see some party crossover in both houses uh, to make this pass. Yeah. Uh, this trigger mechanism that has to be defined for our viewers and, and for us, frankly, too, they're going to set up a special committee. And before Thanksgiving, that committee of six Democrats and six Republicans are going to come up with recommendations for spending cuts. And then those recommendations will be before Congress for a vote. If there is no agreement, the cuts kick in automatically. And a lot of these cuts go, go uh, toward defense spending. Are you comfortable with that? Uh, no, and I think a lot of my Republican colleagues are not going to be terribly comfortable with it either. Look, there are certain things that only the federal government can do, and national defense is one of them. And this is why you're going to have a lot of Republicans in both houses uh, who, who might otherwise have been inclined to support this, but who will be very uncomfortable as a result of this. Uh, but also, it will not include automatic revenue increases, which means no new taxes. Do you believe it? Well, I, I, I believe that it may not have automatic revenue enhancements. Uh, that is not to say that 
uh, the committee couldn't make recommendations that would result in tax increases, and and that's troublesome as well. But you know, we'll we'll deal with this one piece at a time. I see. But so you you believe then, based on that answer, that there is still the possibility that tax increases could come from this. Well, certainly, uh, tax increases could be uh, something that we could face. I don't think that's our answer. I think we have not a revenue problem, but a spending problem, and that's why I intend to address it through a permanent spending reform mechanism uh, embodied in a constitutional amendment. Okay. Mike Lee is a no. Do you know how many other no's are in the Senate in your body? I, I don't. You know, we got the news of this deal last night, and I haven't ha yet had enough uh, of a chance to talk to my colleagues uh, or our counterparts in the House to, to get even a rough vote count. I should know more within an hour or two. Okay. Well, we just heard from Ron Johnson, who was on with Greta last night. He, he was, he was inspiring many folks on this deal. He's not happy. Mike Lee, thank you for your time. The Republican out of Utah. We'll talk again soon. Thank you, sir.